Hello energetic viewers and welcome to Healthy Living. On this week's program, we'll find out about the benefits of yoga, one of the world's most ancient health and fitness practices. We will hear the perspectives of a number of longtime practitioners, namely Rainbow Mars, a respected yogini, Yogi Dr. Malik, a world-renowned yoga expert, author of books such as Kundalini Yoga, The Fusion of Art, Science and Spirituality, and magazine editor of Yoga Magazine and Mind, Body, Spirit Magazine. Yogi Cameron, an Ayurveda and yoga therapist and author of The Guru In You, and Rita Chohan, a Vinyasa Flow Yoga instructor. Yoga is a Sanskrit word meaning union or yoke and its goal is to unify and balance body, mind, and spirit, not simply through exercise, but through an all-encompassing change in lifestyle. Thus, many yoga classes include lessons in diet, meditation, and spirituality. In recent years, yoga has become increasingly popular around the world. When we started Yoga Magazine around 10 years back and we did a research and that time around in America only around 12 to 13 million people used to practice yoga and the last year research was that it has gone to around 25 million now. So from 10 years from 13 million to 25 million is a huge basically uh, increase in yoga community. Yoga has been practiced for thousands of years. In fact, 7,000-year-old artifacts of deities in various yoga postures have been discovered in South Asia's Indus Valley region. As yogi Dr. Malik observes, for yoga to have withstood the tests of time, it truly must have tremendous inherent benefits. If it survived, and now basically around 7,000 years, so it means the science is working, and the second thing is it's increasing, it's growing. What are some of the key ways in which yoga enhances health? According to Dr. Paul Galbraith, author of Reversing Aging, yoga is one of the most powerful tools available for staying young. Indeed, yogi Dr. Malik says some of its inverted postures, such as the headstand, are especially conducive to delaying the aging process. Uh, if you take example of your heart, it doesn't take any holidays or any rest, yeah. even mm -hmm. not for five minutes. Mm -hmm. After 30 or 40 years, constant beat without any rest, that pressure goes a bit slightly low and that's as a heart can't um, basically pump the blood hole on your head and your eyes. What happens, you start losing your hair, your eyesight is affected and you can't hear things properly, your hair go grow, you can get wrinkles on your face. So here yoga comes to help you and yoga says if you do any exercise like a headstand which is basically head down, mm -hmm. so what happens then basically the blood circulation goes into your body and your face and every tiny nerves, so those nerves get food and your eyesight is not going to be affected. In recent years, research on the effects of yoga has found that the practice may help to relieve back pain, multiple sclerosis, and insomnia. Other studies show that yoga assists in reducing or overcoming cancer, heart disease, and tuberculosis, and enhances the immune system. In terms of physical fitness, it increases one's flexibility, strength, and stamina. Yoga is relaxing, fun, easy to learn, and can be practiced by people of any age, including seniors and children. Children from two to five, that's one group that I teach. Um, and then there's another age range from six to 11 years old. So I've been teaching them um, some yoga poses and they love it. They're really enthusiastic and children are fearless. They don't really have a lot of barriers to you know, they don't have a lot of um, embarrassment or anything like that, so they're really up for doing any yoga poses. Yoga is also highly effective in reducing or eliminating stress-related ailments, such as migraine headaches, ulcers, and irritable bowel syndrome. In fact, according to Dr. Timothy McCall, a board-certified specialist in internal medicine, 
and medical editor of Yoga Journal, yoga is arguably the most comprehensive approach to fighting stress ever invented. I was going through a bit of a stressful time and somebody recommended a class and I went to a class and I just found it, it was amazing. So it really, from that first experience, it, it was very life-changing for me and ever since then I was hooked. Okay. And the people who do basically yoga regularly for a few years, and you can see they are very calm people. They don't get angry, they won't get affected by stress, and there's no stress in their body. They're, they're always peaceful people and the loving people. In addition to being a powerful and effective form of exercise, yoga is also a great aid in purifying the mind and body. Many students report that, after practicing yoga for a time, they automatically drop harmful habits, such as drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes. That's like my, my quota this year, like, get on the mat and it will all come. You're not going to stop smoking if you don't get on the mat. Mm -hmm. You're not going to stop, but you get on the mat and you see what's there. You think everything is going great until you get on the mat and you start to breathe and you start to move your body and you're like, wow, what is all this stuff? Mm -hmm. It just doesn't say, why do all the work? So you get on the mat and you end up having a really clear perspective of how all the other things in, in your life are affecting you. What you eat, what you thought, how you are in your relationships, you know, all of that, and then you change your life. The cigarettes fall away. An essential component of every yoga class is teaching students to lengthen and deepen their breathing. This not only relaxes mind and body, but also improves stamina and energy. Students are encouraged to breathe deeply while flowing through or holding postures. Yogi Cameron illustrates how this is done. First one is what's your breath? Are you breathing? Is the stomach coming out? Is the chest coming out? If the stomach doesn't move, you're only breathing here. If you're only breathing here, it's very shallow. I'm taking a few breaths. I should be able to breathe maybe six times a minute. You know, five times, six times, seven times a minute. You know, that's a good... Most people are breathing 25 times a minute. One of the pillars of yoga philosophy is ahimsa, which means practicing non-violence toward ourselves and others. Thus, diet plays an important part in yoga practice, and some yoga instructors encourage their students to adopt a plant-based lifestyle. I'm vegan, um, mainly because I follow one of the main yogic principles by Patanjali, non-harming ahimsa. Um, I don't believe in eating animals. I'll encourage you to eat vegetarian just because I think it is the healthier option for yogis. And there are other reasons why the veg diet is in harmony with yoga. It took me probably five, six years to understand if I eat meat, if I eat anything which is non-veg, it makes my body a bit more stiff. Mm. So if you eat vegetables, then they make your body more flexible. And my own experience is that uh, if you eat meat regularly, you get a lot of diseases from one disease to arthritis to another disease, another disease. But vegetables keep you very fit and they keep you very healthy. And uh, yogis I have seen in India, in Kashmir and anywhere I met them, even if you are 100 years old and they are good healthy, they are basically vegetarian. So personally I advocate that we should be vegetarian. So apart from that, if you basically eat vegetables, you'll be always uh, feel happy, you'll always feel grounded, and you always feel nice as well. Yoga helps practitioners make progress physically, mentally, and spiritually, which is like creating ripples in a pond, spreading out in ever-widening circles, and profoundly affecting their day-to-day -day lives. It's quite hard to put into words what, what that experience has been like, but it's been um, quite, I think the best word is it's very liberating. It's been quite liberating for me. Um, I tend to be quite 
emotionally driven so I mean it's given me that freedom to be a bit more balanced throughout my life. There is something about the practice when applied first that helps teach your body proper alignment and awareness so you can avoid injury. Mm -hmm. It improves your focus, your coordination and your balance so therefore you do those things and then you're going to do whatever you do better. Well, and as far as the many celebrities that I've had a privilege to spend time with. I've also heard things like, you know, it's helped me become a better bassist, it's helped me be a better actor, like it's helped me understand my vehicle more. So when you go inside and you use the tools of Ryoka to open yourself up, then you do your job and you're going to enhance, you're going to just do whatever you do better. Yoga makes you shine. So I have personally seen the people who practice yoga and you see their faces are glowing. It's very difficult for everybody to find a time and go to a local gym and do exercise over there and those basically exercises can keep you fit but they can't keep you healthy. And the yoga basically keep you healthy as well and if you are basically healthy then your brain works more properly and if your brain works more properly you are more successful in your daily life as well. So I'll just uh, say please do yoga, if, even if it'll make you uh, wealthy as well, because if your mind and your cells are working properly, your body system is working properly, your immune system is working properly, you'll make money too. So, make a, so that's the reason yoga makes you shine. Many thanks Rainbow Mars, Yogi Cameron, Yogi Dr. Malik, Rita Chohan, and others who share their wisdom and knowledge of yoga with the world. Through your caring efforts, you bring much health, joy, and peace into the lives of your students, and thus help elevate the communities you serve. Finally, we sincerely appreciate your acting as role models of compassionate living. For more information on the yogis and yoginis featured on today's program, please visit the following websites. Yogi Cameron, www.yogicameron.com Rita Chohan, ritayoga.blogspot.com Yogi Dr. Malik, www.yogidrmalik.com Rainbow Mars, www.rainbowmars.com Books and DVDs by Yogi Cameron, Yogi Dr. Malik, and Rainbow Mars are available at their respective websites. Thank you for your presence today on Healthy Living. May we all be blessed with vibrant health and long, peaceful lives. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash hl.